Well, there is nothing like a cold, refreshing beverage during the summertime, and the cocktail guru has some delicious drinks that he's going to share with us. Take it away, Jonathan. Well, thank you so much, Roadshow crew. So looking forward to seeing you again in person. Can't wait. Um, but thank you, everyone, for joining me again, once again, from my home cocktail lab. I am here to make for you some summertime cocktails, including a cocktail that is served at Newport Polo, which I do the cocktails for, and I have my team there making the cocktails. Newport Polo is back on, which is great. So this first cocktail um, is the uh, South Side. It is the Glen Farm South Side uh, signature cocktail of Newport Polo. Let's go right ahead and make it. So you see right here, I have this beautiful glass with a flower in it. That is a homemade, well, homemade, homegrown nasturtium flower uh, right from my garden. So I'm going to just build the drink directly into this glass. So I have some Cool Peach Vodka from Van Gogh. Uh, this is the base ingredient for the cocktail. And we'll do an ounce and a half of the Van Gogh Cool Peach right into our glass right here. Uh, we have St. Elder as the next ingredient. This is an elderflower liqueur, okay? And we'll, we will do three quarters of an ounce of the St. Elder directly into the glass. This is such a nice, refreshing cocktail. Great while you're watching uh, polo, while you're relaxing under the sun. And we will actually add some lime juice. So I'll squeeze some fresh lime right into the glass just like that. Oh, look at that. That, that freshness, that pop of citrus really adds quite a dimension to the cocktail. And we top it off with our spiked seltzer from Truly right over here. Give that a little top off. And of course garnish, right? So important in a cocktail. We'll just give this a little bit of a stir. So I have some fresh mint that I picked from my garden. Look at that. And remember, we give it a little wake up just like that and place it right into the glass. Oh man, that my friends is the Glen Farm Southside. Perfect, delicious. Now on to the next cocktail, kind of an adult root beer float, because guess what? This weekend is National Root Beer Float Day. Who would have thunk it, right? So I'm gonna add directly to my glass right over here some rum. This is actually Rum 44 from Vermont. We will add three quarters of an ounce of this rum directly into our tall glass, some sort of tall glass. This is called a hurricane glass, right? We just had this tropical storm, was a hurricane. So why not, hey? And this is a strawberry cream liqueur. Look at that from Mozart, Mozart strawberry cream liqueur. We are going to add one and a half ounces directly into the glass. Oh man, I am so excited right now because I get to add ice cream, right? This is a float. So check it out, folks. This is actually frozen yogurt. So let's get this frozen yogurt. Oh man, look at that. This is a strawberries and cream float and this is Fever Tree Spiced Orange Soda. Look at that. We'll just slowly, ever so slowly, top that off because it will overflow. You can make this at home. This could be non-alcoholic for the kiddos or for those people who don't drink, but this just as is, and we'll do a little slice of orange right in there. It will probably overflow and I'll have a little bit of a mess to clean up. Oh, and of course some real maraschino cherries. If we can get this open, ooh! I'm gonna leave that there. I have to run it under some hot water. Hey, live TV, right? I love it, folks. But in any case, have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. Hope to see you very soon. Join me at these wonderful summer events that are still happening. I'll also be, my team will be mixing cocktails at the Boys and Girls Club uh, Newport Rendezvous, uh, which is a series of different small intimate events happening across Newport next week. Cheers, everyone. Take care.